Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple drop-down lists in Excel. I know I've already covered that using the functions of Unique and Filter. It has a limitation and I'm going to tell you in a little while where it is. Anyways, let's just do a quick recap. I'm going to first of all just create an area over here, which is going to be my working area. And let's just highlight it in uh, light green and i'm like to mention that this is my working area if you remember that unique is as simple as typing it in and selecting your array like so and you have the list and let's say and now if i have to make the uh, drop down for the department it's as easy as just going to data data validation and selecting list and i'm just going to choose because this is an array, I'm just going to select the first um, the first cell and hashtag. It's going to show me the entire list. And like so, we have created the department for the user to be selecting from. Now, I want the employees of customer service only to be appearing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use filter and this is my result array. And my condition is that whatever value has been selected over here, F4 to fix it. And this is the array to be matching from. And give me the list. And right here, like so, we have the customer service employees. Again, to be creating the drop down, it is as easy as data validation list and the source is this list right here and hashtag okay and here we have it all the list of employees sorted out from their departments i mentioned that the functions of unique and filter have a limitation and here's where it is unique and filter are part of the new version of office 365 and they're only available to those employees those people who <laughs> no employees it's only available to those who actually have a paid version of office 365 so let's say if you have incorporated this you've made a nice and fancy dashboard you have incorporated a unique and filter and you share it with so many different people if any one of them does not have office 365 paid version they will not be able to see or even use these drop down list because it's not going to work for them so what can we do there's a way around it so this was our original list right we had employees and we had department so in today's example i'm going to show you how can you use offset to make multiple drop down list like always i'm going to first of all highlight my area which is my working space and let's just call it working area for simplicity bolded okay now this um, for, for the for the offset function to be working what you have to do is you have to actually split your list so this was the original list right where you had employees and you had them uh, the, the, the departments in front of them right so because I want the first drop down to be based on departments I'm going to actually sort the data and break it down in, into columns based on departments so the departments appear right here and whoever are the employees they appear underneath them like so all right so our first um, drop down is going to be very much simple let's just go to data uh, data validation and it's as easy as just selecting all of these departments like so there you have it customer service all right now for the list of employees to be appearing okay let's look at the syntax of of text or offset so we have reference we have rows we have column height and width okay reference is basically the starting point so offset wants to know where do you want to start looking from right so this is right here and i'm going to fix it by pressing f4 then i'm going to tell offset number of rows to go down is by one because i do not want this row to be showing i want it to start counting and showing me the option from here onwards so it's going to be one for the number of columns because the the columns are going to be dependent on whatever department has been selected 
it's going to be variable. What can we do? The best formula is match. Let's just use match. And what is our lookup value? It is what department has been selected, F4 to fix it. And what is the lookup array? It is right here. And if you remember that default for match is an exact match, which is zero. So I don't need to write it over here. I am, however, going to fix all of this range. Okay, and let me just close the match function. Now, before I move on, I'm going to pause over here for a moment. Whenever you're working with any function of Excel, right, it starts the counting with one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. Offset, however, starts the counting with zero. So if I look at this match function right here, and my selection is customer service, match is going to actually show me row one, two. So it's going to give me a result of column two, but offset's actually going to be reading it as zero, one, and two. So it's going to give me a list of employees for executive, and that's not what I want. So to handle that, I'm just going to do a simple minus one, and it's going to be fixed. Height is basically that how long the list is going to be. So I know because I've already counted before that the maximum number of employees I have are in sales and so far, currently they are 15. So let me just write over here for simplicity, we are going to make it dynamic, don't worry about it. And we're going to write 15. Remember in offset default width is one. One means like how many number of columns do you want the result to be showing? And we just want one column to be appearing. So the default of offset width is always one. Well, default height is also one, if you don't write anything in there. <laughs> okay, so our formula is complete. I'm just going to do a copy. Actually, let me just do a cut. And I'm going to go to data. Again, data validation, list. And here, I'm just going to paste this function. Okay, now, remember, I told you the height is basically that how long the list is going to be. So where you actually choose sales, let's say, if you choose department sale, it's not a problem because you do not have any blanks appearing because you do have 15 employees. What happens if you choose a department which has less than that? Facilities, for example, it just has one employee. Oh dear, see? It's going to show you this, the result of employees, but then you're going to have all these blanks and they don't actually look very nice. Why? Look at this. If I go to any other department, right, because any, all the other departments are less than 15 and see, you have all the blanks and you have the names appearing in the star, but then after, the, after that you have all the blanks, right? How can I fix it? How can I make the height dynamic that it, it actually, whatever department is there, so Excel figures out how many employees are there. Like here, there are five employees. There are three employees. There are two employees. So how can I make Excel figure that out? Can you think of any function? So there is a formula called count A. All right, and let's choose a range over here. So what count A does is that if I actually specify a range, it gives me that how many values are actually in that range. Like here, it's showing me four. If I, let's say, drag it over here, what does it do? It's gonna give me two. If I drag it to sales, now what happens? It should give me 15. Yep, it is doing that. But how can I make it dynamic? I don't want, because this range over here, right this range is going to depend on whatever the department has been selected by the customer by, by the user so how can i make it dynamic again i'm going to use offset function in here so offset and you remember the uh, first condition is reference so the starting point is right here let's just fix that by pressing f4 number of rows we want to go down is one Again, for the columns, we are going to use match function. It's the same thing that we have done before. This is the lookup value, fix it by F4. The lookup array is right here. All right, F4 to fix it. 
So this match function is completed. And you remember offset starts counting from zero. So because it does that and match always starts counting with one. So we are going to do minus one right here. Okay. And now for the height, remember over here, you can give a number. The, the height can be any maximum uh, length of uh, that, that you, you think the column might be having. So let me just go because I know already I have 15 employees in uh, sales. Even if they do increase, they might go up to 20. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to make it 25. All right. And you recall, I told you if you do not mention height or width, by default, it's one. All right. So default width, which is um, I just need a one column to be appearing. I'm not going to write it. And let's just close the uh, offset formula and count all formula and there you have it it is giving me customer service there are actually five employees let's double check it what if I do executive it's giving me two so the function works perfectly fine let me just cut it from here or copy and I'm going to come to the function which I had in the data validation where I had written 15 over here. I'm going to remove it and very carefully just do a paste and do OK. Now let's have a look. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Now have a look. It's not giving me any blanks. If I choose facilities, what happens then? Yay, I have no blanks. It's all fixed. So this is another um, way if you do not have Office 365, you can use Offset to make multiple drop-down lists. I hope this video was um, informational and helpful. Uh, write in the comments down below if you are going to be using this uh, uh, method of um, making drop-down list or even if you are having any other way of creating drop-down, then do share with me in the comments down below. All right, until next time, stay tuned, much love, God bless, bye. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, subscribe to my channel. All right guys, until next time, stay tuned, much love, God bless, bye.